So one of the big themes of this channel and one of the big subject matters of this channel is specifically for creatives and artists, you know, answers, you know, for how creatives and artists can make a living and earn a living and what are all the ways that that's possible. But a big part of that is using the creativity and, and those artistic skills to come up with creative solutions <laughs> to make that happen along the way. And one of those creative solutions for me was literally starting a business out of a shed in my backyard, which I called shedstash.com. This is a stage that I would make videos and bring a friend and we'd do a little like show and sell the stuff and make videos and have fun. And there's just so much that I've done with this and it's been a lot of fun. But today's video is about continuing on with that creativity and asking what if in the form of, hey, could you actually have a shed in your backyard that doesn't have AC, that doesn't have any heat and put a laptop in it and run that laptop out of the shed? Like, for instance, there was one point where I, where I was going to be using the shed thinking I was going to be ringing up and making sales in there and having like I literally would have customers come here and sell things in person and I've since changed that around but that was one direct something I was experimenting with and so I wanted to find out hey could you actually buy a laptop put it in there and would it survive would it survive the weather so that's what this video is about we're going to test that theory we're going to find out hey what experience did I have with that and We'll resume, I'm shooting these at different times. So the video is now gonna pick up on the other side of the shed where there's another door like that. And that's where you'll see me talk to you next. Okay, so this is one opening uh, to the shed and this is the main one that I have been using for, you know, when a customer comes up, I'll open it up and get the item. And the way that I have used this has changed over time as I've kind of figured out the best way for me to do things and currently it's really become storage there's basically just a bunch of shelving in rows uh, back here and so this is uh, like a lot of the online sales you know when I packed up the items and they're they're waiting to be shipped it's kind of like inventory is kind of what this is now and then of course the overflow all the other stuff that you're always that's always an issue you're always running out of space that's just the nature of the brick and mortar beast so when you do something like this and when you're configuring and figuring out you know the way that you're going to operate you're going to have lots of different ideas and you're going to experiment with different things and one of the things that i experimented with was putting this shelf here and i bought this computer you can see that i've got it sitting down here so I've got this computer. I just bought kind of a cheap computer at Best Buy just for the purpose of ringing up items. And the idea was to set it right there. And then I also had one of these inventory guns that would work with the, you know, whatever software or online checkout service that you use. So now I'm gonna get the camera more up close so you can see this better and hear me better. Okay, so here you can see my shelf that I made. This was just spare wood parts that I just, you can see what I mean, it's just the most random pieces of wood ever. And then I just put a sander on the top of this. I screwed them together and screwed them on the sides here and then sanded the top to make it smooth. And then here is my computer. So I had picked an area where the computer would fit. All right, here's the little scanner gun I was telling you about. This is like very generic stuff. There, there's nothing special about this. Basically what it comes down to is if you do decide you're gonna use one of these, which I ended up learning that I, this, I really didn't need to do this, your service will tell you, you know, the recommended gun or, you know, whatever they've configured to work with, you know, uh, their software, their platform and they're the best people to, to talk to. It just kind of depends on which, which software or uh, checkout platform, sales platform you use. So, you know, and there's, there's an option to do this where it's plugged into the computer and they also have these wireless things like this where you plug it into the computer and then I think you plug something else in here uh, maybe not, and then it, it just communicates with this that way. And you would only be using this if you were using some kind of sticker system where you're actually printing out inventory stickers that you're putting on your items and then you're ringing that up to check it out in the system and sell it. Okay, now because of the nature of my business where, you know, I'm 
not having very many repetitive things, but so many things are different. This really didn't make sense for me at this level, like at this stage. Now down the road, yes, maybe. But this is more so if maybe you have a bunch of repetitive, you know, you're selling one or two items or certain items that you always have in stock and it makes sense to actually print out the stickers and perhaps if you were to ring it up like that, then that would make sense for you. So anyway, that's what that is. But here's the real reason I'm making this video. This video right now is a test to see what you can expect from even the most simple technology equipment like a computer. Can it survive? Because this shed, you know, there's, there's no AC out here. However cold it gets outside, it gets that cold in here. So what the situation is, is I've made this and I bought this computer and I've had this here for like two years at least, okay? So this has been through the snow, it's been through the low, low degree weather, as cold as the average can get through in a two year period, however many times it's gonna get that cold, this has been through it, right? So what we wanna find out is, will this work right now when I turn this on? Because you saw how I moved it from this shelf. I literally did not end up using this. I bought it. I didn't end up using it. Only a few times did I use it out here, but it's been out here in as hot as weather as it can get and as cold as weather as it can get. So this is going to be interesting. Now, my computer in my garage has done fine. All my tech stuff in my garage, as low as a temperature can get in a garage, that's all been fine. Now we're going to find out if that's also true if you were to set up something like this in a shed building like this. So I'm gonna plug this in. And I never really use this much, so you're probably gonna see me goof around with this a little bit to even kinda of understand or try to remember how this thing worked. There we go. Okay, here we go. There's the power button. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. We're starting up. I, you know, this is cold to the touch right now. Um, like I said, I have not done anything. I have not moved it from this shed for two years. And look at this. We're actually booting up here. It's working. And, and, and like I said, the reason of this test is, you know, what experience did I have from literally doing this? Like, the question is, can you put your tech and your computer and, you know, a, a POS system in a shed and can it survive with regard to the weather for as how hot as it's gonna get and as cold as it's gonna get outside. So here's what we're finding out. The answer is yes. We are seeing that this is working. And look at that. <laughs> so that's awesome. I do have a router set up in here that I had set up, but I haven't actually relied on it for so long that I wasn't sure if this would actually work, but it, it did. <laughs> so here I am at Google. Let's say if I just want to look up go-karts, let's just look up some go-kart images just to verify that we're, we're actually working here. And yeah, here we go. We're, we're, we're rocking and rolling. So by no means am I trying to say, well, oh, look at this, anything can survive any temperature conditions. Not at all. This was just simply like a little science experiment, like a little test to see like, hey, what, what would happen to this item? And to actually get some kind of concrete answer like, okay, well, like, could you actually keep a computer out in a shed and like, would it actually keep working? You know, it's more so like that, like just trying to get an idea of could something like that work? And at least with this one, yeah, it did. So um, take that for what it's worth. Uh, like I said, I, you know, there's no way to have any kind of guarantee on something like this. We were talking about weather and all that. But just from the perspective of saying, what if, and hey, could you give me an example? That's, that's what this video will do. I got a guy coming to buy something. I got to go meet him and I will see you in the next video. So there you have it. It actually did work uh, for me at least. So I love this kind of these kinds of things and this subject matter. I'd love to know in the comments what things have you tried? What creative things have you maybe seen someone else do or someone that you know do? Let me know in the comments and I'd love to hear about other people's experiences that are kind of finding creative ways to make things happen and not letting any limitations get in their way. 
As a creative or artist, you can spend a lifetime trying to figure out how to do things other people already know how to do easier and faster. That's why the Camp Shark Smarts YouTube channel is all about sharing simple, quick wins that reveal how to get past the challenges and onto the fun part as fast as possible. Becoming a part of the community is free, and every week I'll send you a simple, quick win that will make it easier to start, run, and grow your business. To join the email list and receive your first win, just click the link in the description. Also, make sure to let me know what you thought of today's video in the comments. And if you know of an even better solution to today's topic, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the community.